Hello everyone and welcome to my review of the Eagle Moss Star Trek Klingon Bird of Prey. This is the third issue in the Star Trek Starships collection line and it's it's definitely a good one. Uh, unlike the, the refit which was the second one, this ship is, is great. It's back to the quality level of the Enterprise D. Uh, as you can see, sculpt-wise, it is it is very accurate, I feel, to the, the sculpt of the Bird of Prey that they use in the shows and in the movies. And paint-wise, the paint quality and detailing on this is absolutely great. As you can see the bottom here, you can see the wings on it, the wings on the bottom of the, the on there. And then you can see the weathering here, too. There's some nice weathering on the Bird of Prey. Um, you can see how the wings, that looks really good. And then you flip it over and you have the top. You can see the detailing there, and then again around the engine you have some nice weathering here uh looks at it looks it looks really good the paint job on this is absolutely brilliant um and the sculpt is also really good looks at it's back to the quality level of the enterprise d uh and it's 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 leaps and bounds better than the the enterprise refits so i would absolutely recommend this ship uh the the die cast part the wings are die cast this little underside here uh is die cast and there might be some die cast in the this parts are also die cast. The rest is, is mostly plastic. The blasters, or the, sorry, not the blasters, the disruptors, um, these are plastic and they're kind of flimsy. I don't really, I'm a little worried about those breaking at some point if you're, if you're not careful with them. Uh, but otherwise, it's, it's a very good, sturdy feeling ship. It doesn't break, it doesn't feel like it's going to break at all except for those, those disruptors. And it sits really well on its stand too. It's a little more wibbly on it since it's in the back. But so far it hasn't fallen off, and I don't feel like it's going to fall off. Uh, like I said, I do like these stands so far, and uh, I'm not too concerned about them falling off of it. So I would absolutely recommend this ship for $20 if you're not a subscriber. I would, I would definitely recommend buying the Bird of Prey. It's a little big because of the wings, how it's in flight mode. It takes up a little more space than some of the other ones do, but it's totally worth it. I would, I would recommend buying this one. Uh, so far the D and this ship are ones I would say for sure drop 20 bucks on they're absolutely worth it and the next one I believe is Voyager no not Voyager the next one is the NX-01 that'll be the next review and I'll see you then and thanks for watching